Hey there, Paul from Extreme Airbrushing here. I'm here to show you a few easy ways to make a paint palette. Well, one easy way to make a paint palette out of something that we all find around our house. The pop bottles. Um, a lot of people ask, you know, you, you, what do you use for mixing your paint on? I see a lot of people using plastic containers and whatnot, uh, margin containers and plates, namely. But uh, this is one easy way to make a small palette and uh, your colors don't get all mixed up. All you need is a sharp little exacto knife or uh, a pair of scissors and if you're careful take your time and start around the bottom and just cut away slowly. Um, don't uh, be very careful not to cut yourself. These uh, applying too much pressure will lead the blade to kind of run astray on you and uh, you could cut your finger off. <laughs> um, once we're done here I'm almost already around so it's pretty easy. Uh, it's a common thing to find around the house. Uh, most people have pop bottles. But if, uh, if you don't have any, they're pretty easy to find. So here I've cut the top off the pop bottle. I don't need the knife anymore. And uh, now you've got three little, or actually you've got five little reservoirs on the bottom here. And you'll see that if I pour any kind of paint in the bottom, um, the paint actually stays well separated and it doesn't go into the other areas. You can mix any, any amount of colors. You can put water in one of them. And as you see here, the paints don't really run into the other containers. They're deep enough to use enough paint for a project. If you need any more than that, um, you know, go to a bigger bottle. But uh, normally I go for the smaller bottles, which are personal sizes instead of the 2-liter pop bottles. And that is uh, an easy way to make a paint palette. Take care.